More than 3 million people use public transport in London every day. So it isn't really a surprise to find out that over 340,000 items were found on the service between 2017 and 2018. And this is where all the lost items end up. The Transport for London Lost Property Office. So property comes into us from all across the TfL network and that includes the, the underground, the overground, the buses, the Docklands Light Railway, but even things like um, the black cab taxi, so items which are found in there come through to us as well. And every day we're receiving on average around 1,100 items, so 300 bags, we get over sort of 110 mobile phones every day. It's, it's just never ending, but interesting. It takes more than 50 full-time staff to deal with all the items that end up at the lost property office. When an item has been found on the network, it's, it's stored at the local station or garage for a couple of days and the majority of items which are reclaimed are done uh, at the front end. If it hasn't been picked up, it then comes to us at the lost property office. We'll sort it into categories, we'll input the details into the computer and we store it safely for three months. Now, customers can go online to the TfL website and simply put in an inquiry. Um, we'll search against all the property that we do have, but if it does have a name and address or an email address, we'll contact the owner proactively in any case. And for about one in eight items, we're able to contact people and say, hey, we've, we've got your property here. We were allowed to take a look around to see some of the things that were currently in the lost property office. So in this aisle here, we have items of clothing. But the thing is, they've all been found in some sort of shopping bag. And that's an important detail because if you've lost something in, say, a Sainsbury's bag, that's very visible because of its colour. Uh, and that will help us in terms of trying to find, has your property been lost? If you've lost something which is not in a bag, then that's one less attribute or detail that we can use to try and track down to see if we've got your property. So people do carry uh, everything on the transport network and we have a lot of tourists especially coming through London and so it's not surprising that electronics are, are lost in large volume. So cameras, iPads, mobile phones. Um, we have shelves here just just full of, of high value electronic stuff and one of the things we do especially with the camera is we'll have a look and see if there are any pictures on there which will help identify who the owners are. Um, so we take, firstly we've got to hope that there's still some battery. Uh, this one's live and we have a look through uh, the pictures to see if we can help identify who the owner may be. This one, it's, uh, it's Woody from Toy Story and it's, ah uh, look that's Disneyland. Ah. So it looks like a, yeah, looks like a family trip to, uh, to Disneyland. And that's sort of the information that we will record, which would um, help when somebody makes an inquiry, says, I've lost my camera. We'll say, well, what sort of pictures were on that? And if they say, well, it was a family trip to Disneyland, we've helped narrow down the search and we might be able to get that camera back to them. Now, I know what you're thinking. What happens to the items after the three months inside the lost property office? Well, maybe Paul can shed some light on that. So when items aren't reclaimed, having been stored for three months, they, they legally belong to us at Transport for London, and we have a responsibility to do something with that. So we'll remove any personal data and make sure that's securely destroyed. Um, most of the items are donated to charity. They're reusable, but they don't have any resale value. Um, items which do have some sort of financial value, they are sold uh, anonymously online, so there isn't a TfL auction you can go to. Uh, but any of the proceeds from that or cash which isn't claimed or fees when customers have collected their property, that all goes to help offset the running cost of providing a lost property service. The one question I always get asked is, what's the weirdest thing that we've found? And do you know what? You have to define what weird is, because for you it might be something very simple. For me, it takes a lot for things to stand out. We had a parachute. Parachute is not something you expect to be carried in transport in London and you're asking yourself at what point did the person remember that they lost their parachute and you're hoping it's certainly before they, they go up in the plane. I mean we've had bundles of cash, very large bundles of cash and upwards of 15, 20,000 pounds which we've had absolute delight in returning to, to people. I think you take everything on value, everything has a story, everything is interesting. 
you sort of give up on looking for weird, and I think weird just finds you these days. But if you have lost something, inquire with the, the local staff straight away. If you're on a bus, just have a look online. It'll tell you what bus garage that bus is going to. Give the garage a call. They'll be, it'll be there for three or four days. If you haven't found it at the station or the garage, go to the TFL website, fill in a form, we'll have a look for you. And if we find it, we'll let you know. And even if we haven't found it, we'll let you know that it's unlikely to turn up. But uh, just go online, log an inquiry. And you know, last year, 76,000 items were returned to members of the traveling public. So you know, don't give up hope.